If you're anything like me, you probably spend a lot of time procrastinating about equipment that you probably should have, but you don't want to necessarily spend your hard-earned income on. And I procrastinate a lot about um, that kind of stuff, and I, I don't like spending money on things that I don't feel as though I absolutely need to, especially when I have equipment that does the job but just doesn't do it well. Oh, I'm trying to get a video done here, buddy. Hey, I'm trying to get a, oh, thank you. Oh, you stay quiet, I'll let you stay in the room. How about that? How about that? Okay, I think we got ourselves a deal here. Sorry, if you hear any background noises, that's just Sturgill in the background there. So, for spending money on things that I don't necessarily love spending money on, uh, tripods are not a sexy piece of camera equipment, let's face it. It's a lot more fun to get a new lens, get something a little faster, um, or a new you know, camera body even, something with greater technology, something that has greater ISO capacity, etc. But tripods, you know, they're kind of paperweights, these objects that aren't ex exactly as high speed or fun as uh, some of the other stuff that's out there, but nonetheless equally as important. And I had a tripod that I've been working with for almost five years. And there were two things that were really weighing me down with this tripod, pun intended. The weight, for one, um, these tripods are super heavy. When you buy the $100 travel tripods uh, or the, you know, the cheaper aluminum versions of these smaller travel tripods, um, it comes at a price. So it comes at the price of weight, um, sometimes durability and almost always in size capacity. So like, meaning you can't open it up. Um, it's not a tall tripod. There's only so many segments that you can, or legs, um, and you can only extend it so far. So mine had, you know, three of those cons. So it was, it was definitely super heavy. Um, it wasn't very dur durable, definitely not very sturdy, and definitely not a uh, very tall tripod. When I was first starting out, efficiency didn't seem super important to me. And what I mean by efficiency is saving seconds or minutes, uh, what have you, with setting up your shot. So if you're not in a commercial setting or if you're not shooting events or if you're not um, in need of doing what you're doing but doing it faster so that you can either get more stuff for your client or that you can make more money, then it's not, efficiency is not always the biggest you know, problem to solve. Uh, but as soon as you do get, you know, using your camera in that application and, and using a tripod in that application, all of a sudden efficiency becomes something to really think about. Uh, the second thing is weight, but the problem with weight is not so much just like, oh, it's heavy, this is annoying. It's the fact that if you're on a backcountry uh, backpacking trip, and you have your bag packed and you lift it up and you're like, man, this is gonna be a long five days in the woods because I packed too much stuff. The f one of the first things you're gonna look at is your tripod because you're like, man, I can save like seven, eight pounds right here, right now, real fast. How many photos am I actually gonna take with my tripod? And in the moment, at least for me and my experience, I almost always just decide, you know what, I'll leave the tripod here. How many photos, you know, how many photos, how many times am I really gonna use this and how many photos am I gonna really miss? And the reality is it was only about uh, two or three trips in where I'd done that, I'd made that decision, multiple, you know, two or three times and I'm in the back country and I'm sitting there realizing that there's moments and shots that I should have been taking and couldn't because I didn't have my, my tripod that were definitely portfolio, would have been portfolio shots and they, are shots that haunt me for not having them to this day um, a year later on a couple of particular shoots where I know they really would have been extraordinary and I, and I kick myself for not having just bringing the tripod and having that extra weight. So after those trips, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna invest in a good proper tripod, um, no more excuses. I want to. I really want to get the best of the best of the best of whatever's out there. So I went down that rabbit hole 
did a bunch of research trying to figure out what everyone, you know, who's using what and why do they like it? Why don't they like what, what are some things that they don't like about their tripods? Um, and just kind of figuring out like what would work best for me in the applications that I need, which is something um, efficient, so way, way quicker for setup, something that's smaller so I can fit in my uh, backpacking backpack, uh, something that's super light. So, you know, I was looking at carbon fiber right away. And then also something that's gonna be really, really sturdy because I'd already had an experience where having this tripod, my you know tripod I've had forever, uh, not being so sturdy, you know, I had a gust of wind blow it over and ended up destroying seven thousand dollars worth of uh, my camera equipment, my lens and my camera body. So, you know, it, I needed something that wasn't going to do that, and uh, so sturdy was a really big. Uh, important feature for me to have in, in my next tripod. So I did all the research I could and um, I finally came upon the Peak Design that had a brand new carbon fiber uh, travel tripod at the time. Uh, it was brand new. Now it's been out for a little while, but that's a big part of why I waited to make this video is since having it, I have so many experiences with this tripod now that I can kind of speak to the features and talk a little bit real quick about what I like about it and what I think really works with it. So right off the bat, it's way lighter. It weighs only 2.8 pounds, which is like crazy. I mean, it's less than half the weight of my other tripod. It's less than half the weight of most tripods out there. Um, it's still considerably lighter than most carbon fiber tripods out there. Um, and it also is really, it extends, it's really tall. Um, it's almost as tall as I am at eye level. Uh, it's, I believe, 150 centimeters um, at its tallest point but um, I'm six foot one and it goes, it's right about, um, I think it's like right on my nose right here. So really tall and you can extend extremely quickly. So because of the nature of the tripod, you can basically extend the five segments immediately just by unclipping. So you can fully extend and then you can lock right away. So if you were used to the rings, which, which is like what I was using before, you'd have to, individually let loose each ring on each segment. So if you have five segments, three legs, that's 15. And I mean, that could be the difference between taking like literally like a minute and a half to set up sometimes or like five seconds. So just that efficiency difference was a big deal. And another feature I really liked about it is how compact it was. If you look at the size of this and you compare it to a Nalgene bottle, this is pretty much exactly what a, um, I don't know if it's 1.6 or two liters, but the, the larger or the taller Nalgene bottles, it's like the exact same weight. I actually put this in my water bottle compartment on the side of my, um, my backpacking backpack by F-Stop Gear. So all around, great piece. The only negative feedback that I have for it or is not really a negative feedback because they've already come up with solutions for it, um, which is to have sharper uh, options for your feet. So you could have, if you're on like a glacier, if you're on snow or ice, or if you're, you know, in any kind of scenario where you need to just dig in and actually have your tripod really like sturdy against the ground, um, then there's these like aluminum spikes uh, and you can, it's, I think it's 40 bucks or something and you just literally screw them into the bottom. So that's a really cool option to have. That would be a piece of feedback if they didn't have that solution already. Another thing that would be a concern for me would be the replaceable parts. So if any of these little screws in here, um, if I lost them or if they started to rust out because it's such an investment, I would hate to like have pieces of it fail and everything on it is serviceable and replaceable and i know peak design will definitely look after you um, when you make an investment like this usually the companies are really good at you know making sure that you have everything you need to be happy for a super long time so you know my only concerns for the tripod have basically already been absolved before <laughs> then you know them just offering these either services or products i think all those things all together make it a perfect backpacking companion um, if you're in the outdoors, if you're traveling, and if you know what you're bringing with you and what you're carrying in your pack really makes a difference, and what you have with you is what you're gonna have with you for the amount of the you know the time you're away for the shoot, um, you know then all everything, every piece of equipment that really matters in that scenario. So, you know I think that this travel tripod is just 
great for that. So let me know if you think that I left out any features that were important to you. If you have this tripod, um, if you don't have this tripod and you're thinking about getting it, let me know if you're looking at the aluminum one or the carbon fiber. There's not a great weight difference for me, um, even though there is a great price difference. Uh, I think that literally just having that extra little bit of weight saving and being able to um, you know pack a, a couple other luxuries instead is, is more than worth it for me. I have a couple other new pieces of equipment that I have just purchased a couple new I uh, got a new lens um, a couple new pieces for the drone and uh, I'll be making more videos like this real soon so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel uh, if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers thanks a lot.